Hello and Namaste everyone. Welcome to my channel SigmaX. Today we are learning about solving the numerical problem related to volumetric analysis. 0.8 gram of a divalent metal was dissolved in 100 ml of 1.28 N hydrochloric acid and the solution was diluted to 200 ml. Then 50 ml of the solution required 54.6 ml of 0.22 N sodium hydroxide for neutralization. Find the atomic weight of the metal. I am going to solve this problem in two different ways. In number one, I will solve the problem in the same order as the question is and in number two, I will solve it in reverse order. Actually, both ways are easier to execute but method number two is comparatively shorter than method number one. But you can choose any method to solve this type of problem. Now, let's solve this problem using method number one. The first sentence of the given question reads 0.8 gram of a divalent metal was dissolved in 100 ml of 1.28 N hydrochloric acid and the solution was diluted to 200 ml. Here the given quantities are mass of the metal M which is equal to 0.8 gram. Since the metal is divalent, its valency must be 2. Now, let x be the atomic mass of metal, then its equivalent weight E is given by atomic mass divided by valency, which is equal to x divided by 2. Also, the volume of hydrochloric acid B1 is equal to 100 ml or 0.1 liter and the normality of hydrochloric acid N1 is equal to 1.2 N. Let Ns be the normality of the solution after 0.8 gram of the given metal is dissolved in 100 cc of 1.8 to it and hydrochloric acid. If we neglect the volume of metal, then we can infer that the volume of the resulting solution will be equal to the volume of hydrochloric acid. If Bs be the volume of the solution, then Bs is equals to B1 is equals to 0.1 liter. Now, since the metal is decreasing, the normality of hydrochloric acid in the solution by converting a small amount of hydrochloric acid into metallic salt as shown in the given chemical equation, we can write number of gram equivalent of hydrochloric acid minus number of gram equivalent of metal is equal to number of gram equivalent of the solution. We know that number of gram equivalent equals to normality times volume in liter or mass in gram divided by gram equivalent weight that is the equivalent weight in gram. Hence we can write N1 B1 minus M divided by E is equals to Ns times Vs. Let it be equation 1. Also since the solution is diluted to 200 ml its concentration which is expressed in normality changes. So let Ns dash be the normality of the solution after dilution and Vs be its volume so that Bs dash is equals to 200 ml or 0.2 liter. But we don't know its normality. Therefore, to find its normality, we should apply the law of dilution. According to the law of dilution, we know that number of gram equivalent before dilution is equals to number of gram equivalent after dilution. This means there is no change in the number of gram equivalent of solution during dilution. In this process, that is the process of dilution, the concentration changes due to the change in volume but not due to the change in gram equivalent. Hence, in our case, number of gram equivalent before dilution is equals to Ns Vs and number of gram equivalent after dilution is equals to Ns dash times Vs dash. Hence, we can write Ns Bs is equals to Ns dash Vs dash. Let it be equation 2. From equation 1 and equation 2, we get N1 B1 minus M divided by E is equals to Ns Bs equals to Ns dash Vs dash. Putting the value of N1, V1, M, E and Vs dash in the above equation, we get 1.28 into 0.1 minus 0.8 divided by x by 2 is equals to Ns dash times 0.2. Solving the above equation for Ns dash, we get Ns dash equals to 0.64 minus 8 divided by x. That is, the normality of the diluted solution is 0.64 minus 8 divided by x n. Now, let's analyze the second sentence of the given question. The second sentence reads, 50 ml of the solution required 54.6 ml of 0.22 N sodium hydroxide for neutralization. That is, required volume of diluted solution V2 equals to 50 ml or 0.05 liter. 
normality of diluted solution N2 is equals to NS dash equals to 0.64 minus 8 divided by X. The volume of sodium hydroxide V3 is equals to 54.6 ml and the normality of sodium hydroxide N3 is equals to 0.22 N. Since 50 ml of the diluted solution reacts completely with the given amount of sodium hydroxide applying normality equation, we can write N2 V2 equals to N3 V3. Putting the values of N2, N3, V2 and V3, we get 0.64 minus 8 divided by X times 0.05 equals to 0.22 times 0.0546. Solving the above equation for X, we get X equals to 20. Since the atomic mass is measured in AMU, that is atomic mass unit, we can write the atomic mass of given metal is 20 AMU. In this way, we can solve this type of problem. Now, let's solve it using method number 2. We are given that 50 ml of the diluted solution required 54.6 ml of 0.22 N sodium hydroxide. Using unitary method, we can write 1 ml of the diluted solution required 54.6 divided by 50 ml of 0.22 N sodium hydroxide. Since the solution was diluted to 200 ml, we can write 200 ml of the solution required 54.6 divided by 50 times 200 ml of 0.22 N sodium hydroxide. Hence, the total volume of sodium hydroxide solution required for neutralization V2 is equals to 218.4 ml or 0.2184 liter. And the normality of sodium hydroxide N2 is equals to 0.22 N. Now, to find the atomic weight X of the given metal, we should apply the law of equivalent proportion. That is, the number of gram equivalent of metal plus number of gram equivalent of sodium hydroxide must be equal to number of gram equivalent of hydrochloric acid. This is because the metal and sodium hydroxide together neutralize the hydrochloric acid completely. As we know that number of gram equivalent of metal equals to M divided by E, number of gram equivalent of sodium hydroxide equals to N2V2 and number of gram equivalent of hydrochloric acid equals to N1V1, we can write M divided by E plus N2V2 equals to N1V1 or 0.8 divided by X divided by 2 plus 0.22 times 0.2184 equals to 1.28 times 0.1. Solving the above equation for the value of x, we get x equals to 20 AMU. Hence, the atomic mass of given metal is 20 AMU. In this way too, we can solve this type of problem. I hope from now on, you all can solve this type of problem related to volumetric analysis. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notification when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye bye.